We have different methods for accessing our network video recorder. In this video, I will show you three methods for how to access your security systems. The first method for accessing Tahva, NVR or DVR is connecting NVR with the TV via HDMI cable or VGA cable. The second method for accessing Tahva NVR is connecting NVR with the network and access it via browser. After we connect the NVR with the network, come to the NVR system, go to the network configuration, and here you will see TCP IP configuration. You should make sure that you have received a IP address from the DHCP server, otherwise click on edit. In here, you can change the option either to static IP address or a DHCP option. After we check the TCP IP configuration in TVR or NVR, we open the browser and type that IP address of NVR. Here we need to enter its username and password. Just click on login. Here you can see that the view of uh, accessing Dahwa NVR in the browser is different than we are accessing Dahwa NVR via TV or monitors. For configuration of Dahwa NVR, just click on this icon and you will see all the configuration parts right here. Third method for accessing Dahwa NVR is installing smart PSS application and access it Dahwa NVR through that application. Here it's require admin password when we are running this application. I will check auto login after registration. Click next. Here we will enter or answer some security question. When we forget the password, we will use this question to reset the password. Here we can add the device. I'm entering its IP address, port number, username. Click on add. You can see this device has been connected. The benefit of this application, we can manage several NVR from this one application. For accessing its live or camera, click on plus icon, click on live, expand the list and just double click the camera. Just click on second camera, both of the camera has been connected. For other device configuration, we come to configuration section, click on device CFG or configuration. Here you can see a list of configuration. If we have several NVR, then we should select one of them. You can see one is activated with this IP address, this model and other description. For adding or registering camera, we can check on camera section and camera configuration. We can adjust all its configuration from here. For its network or IP configuration, we came to the network settings, storage or also the system configuration. For the fourth... Thank you so much for watching this video.